All right, what's up guys? So I'm in here in the garage today. I was actually, I just got back from bike camping. Uh, I'm getting some of that stuff unloaded. As you can see there, uh, I took the bag off the bike. But uh, the reason I'm out here is I'm getting everything else loaded back into the truck. And I gotta grab my kayak off the wall because I'm headed out for a trip and I'm gonna be gone for, I don't know, like three or four days on that trip. But I was out here grabbing some stuff off the shelf over there. And I thought, since we've been doing some more videos in the garage here, why don't we talk about my license plates. I've got a little bit of a license plate collection. Not only what's on the wall there, but I've also got this completely full of plates here. So there's some gems in there. There's some old stuff in there. I mean, that one's from 49. So yeah, I've got quite a few. Um, this was just really a random hobby that I, I picked up. Uh, I started collecting like the old plates that I found, uh, you know, out at the farm and things like that. And then uh, family members started getting plates for me and they would, you know, uh, give me all the old plates out of their garages and stuff like that. And then I have bought a few here and there. I found a bunch for sale uh, a few years ago on Craigslist out of Lincoln. And uh, I went and picked those up. There was probably like 50 or 75 plates and there was a bunch of old ones and it was like $20. And that's actually, it's not bad. I mean, there's, a, there's definitely a collector market for license plates. Um, so it's kind of cool because here in Nebraska with these old plates, and I don't know the exact year on this, but um, if your vehicle's of a certain age and you have a plate from that year, you can run that plate on the vehicle. I think the counties have to match as far as that goes, but you know, I've got old, you know, we're around Lincoln and Omaha. I've got old Lincoln and Omaha plates, uh, but I don't have any old cars to run that stuff on. But I guess we'll kind of get started with some of the stuff that I have on the walls here. Uh, I guess kind of point out some of the ones that friends have given me. Uh, and yeah, we'll just get into it. So right over here, 1926 Nebraska plate. Uh, so it's green. These are a lot wider than your new plates. Uh, there's a newer plate down here that is a Nebraska Husker plate. I guess it's got a, a frame on there. Uh, but that was given to me by my buddy Topher. I think that was on an Impala SS. Um, let's see. Here, some Iowa plates. And this is a double. I've got uh, both of them here. These are from 1926. Doubles are also uh, pretty cool to get. Uh, it's not often that you can find a pair of doubles like that, but I've got a few of the older ones. So here's, this one's in pretty rough shape. 22 County, Nebraska from 1928. And there's a 26 from Nebraska, 53 at Stanton County. Um, and then there's like a random one right there. Uh, Nebraska, and there's an old random one over here from Nebraska. And I think that says 53, 1953. But over here we got some good stuff on the back wall. Um, some out of state stuff. I mean, there's some hiding behind the TV here. That's a 1954 Nebraska black plate. There's some other vintage Nebraska ones. Um, Bicentennial, Nebraska. Jim used Jim's used cars out of Sioux City, so that was, um, I believe, my wife's uncle. Uncle Jim sounds right. I bought one of my first cards from him uh, a few years back, <laughs> obviously. But it was a Pontiac Grand Prix, pretty sweet car. And then a couple more uh, older Nebraska ones up there, 1969, 1976 Bicentennial. But the sticker, uh, I don't know if the sticker. Sticker doesn't say anything on it. So, a few over here. Um, I think that was a city vehicle. I can't remember. This one came from a friend of mine uh, out of Montana. She went to school locally here and shot for the uh, local college. So, she was on the rifle team for the college, yes. Colleges in Nebraska have rifle teams. Um, some more plates. So there's a 66 there, 1960 there, black plate, uh, some Texas stuff, Iowa, 1972. Um, 
Remax too, that's my aunt. She sells houses in Norfolk, Nebraska area. Kathy Means, hit her up. Remax Associates, plug. Uh, there's some other stuff up there. What is that one? 1960 from South Dakota. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think there's anything behind that stuff up there. Maybe one back there. Uh, but some more. That's fairly new. 1999. Texas. Green Nebraska plate. 1976. It's four-ton rated truck. Let's see some more over here. That one's not that old. Is there some back there? Yeah, maybe. Missouri. Oh, that one might have fallen down. A couple behind there. This is an Arizona plate. This is just junk at this point. That was a pattern for a beadlock I punched out on a machine. Worked at a metal shop once. Anyways, let's see, what is that? 19, that one's kind of an odd looking one. 1949 Nebraska. It seems like really thin. And it's smaller, if you can't tell, it's smaller than the other standard plates, slightly. But Grand Canyon, Arizona, another Nebraska farm truck, 16 ton, rated. There's another one. Oh, that's, that's double right there. Huh, I didn't even realize that. Let's see, there's a cool vintage one there, Illinois, 1956. And there are some more back behind there, but we can't see those. There's one 1983 Indiana truck plate. And there's some more back there. Uh, yeah. But let's get into what we've got here in the crate because there's some good stuff in here. Some bike plates and things. All right, so what's in the box? So this is a big crate, it's heavy. There's quite a few plates in here. Um, so I think I've got all the bike plates that are in here stacked out on top. So we'll start with some of these bike plates here. Um, this one's cool and it's cool because the current bike plates, we'll just grab a different one out of here. Um, this is an old bike plate. I would believe that's Lincoln, Nebraska or Lancaster County. That's from 1972. And it's quite a bit bigger than the current plate. Uh, different size anyways. Uh, so that's neat. I think that's the oldest bike plate I have. I might have one older, but I think that's the oldest one. Um, ooh, that's loud. I'll try not to slam them all down like that. So we've got another one here. And that one's not that old, but I wrote something on the back of it. <laughs> that was... Uh, yeah, that was the, my, my wife had a bike, a 2016 Sportster, and this plate was never actually mounted. It was sold before we mounted that plate uh, that year, anyways. And I think, yeah, here's the tag off of getting it from Lowe's Hill. Anyways, moving on, my wife has had what, what she's had, like, she's had a few motorcycles. She can ride. Um, this is actually a trailer plate. Something along the lines of a trailer plate, but an odd size. I don't know what C is. C2 tons, 22. Um, so I don't know if they were tagged differently back in the day. Now they've got those those tags um, on the plate that says the ton. And I don't know if that's 38 county or if that's 1938. It could be 1938. Uh, if you know, I guess let me know. And then we've got some more uh, just basic Nebraska uh, motorcycle plates. I don't know if this is a bike plate or a trailer plate. I know sometimes the old trailer plates were a little bit smaller, but or it could be off of like a city golf cart for all I know. Uh, the 1955. And then a few more just regular old bike plates. And I don't know what that's off of. That one wasn't mine. It might have been off my homie Greg's bike. Uh, that. Bought a Corolla from them guys once. In fact, I think my wife bought one from them too. We bought a couple cars from them. So this is, uh, I think I've opened this before, but this is from my dad's girlfriend, uh, Sherry. It's an old motorcycle plate, I believe. Yeah. 
So that that's from 1976. That one's in really good condition. Uh, well, the plate's from 76. The last sticker is from 1984. If you can see that. Yeah, the last sticker's from 84. So, I mean, this, I would assume MC on this means motorcycle. And this, this is from 75, so they must change to the other style in 76. And then it wrote out motorcycle instead of MC. I mean, maybe I'm wrong and MC does not mean motorcycle on this plate, but I think so. Tell me if I'm wrong. Go ahead, tell me. Um, and then we've, we'll start in on some, we've got some more plate frames here. Nothing special. 10, 1955 Nebraska. And this one's got a few bullet holes in it. There, there. Yeah, there's one there, one there, and one up here. So, I mean, that is definitely not uncommon to see bullet holes. And then I think most of the good ones in here down on the bottom, I think this top stack is mostly newer stuff. Um, I would say like 80s and up, probably most of it is. Uh, but I believe that's probably a city plate out of Nebraska. I, I don't think, I, I think the, all, all the they, we've always had like different colored stuff. Maybe it's a truck plate. Minnesota. What year is that? Did not say on there. I don't know. 95? Oh, 11. Probably. No, that's, I don't know. South Dakota plate. 1986. So that's a little older. Some recent Nebraska stuff. These are all the same. Here's a Nebraska plate. I hated these plates. It was the ugliest plates we've had. And it's like the goldenrod and a bird. And if you can see, I covered the bird's head up with the sticker out of spite because I didn't like the plate. <laughs> Just bad colors. Bad color. I don't know. Never liked that design. Uh, the current one's better. And then we've got some more. Regular plates here, uh, commercial truck plates. And these are all pretty new, 2011, 2011. I think all this stuff's new. Trailer plate, current trailer plates are the same size. I don't think it says anything on there as far as tonnage, no, but a bunch of trailer plates. Trailer plates, commercial truck. This is all new stuff. Uh, that one's kind of neat. Might have been a police car or something. City government. In fact, I know I've got like a a set of doubles of plates like that somewhere in here. I'm all dirty now. So that top stack, not the not the coolest stuff in there. This one, I think, just has a good one laying on top. There might be a couple good ones in here, but this one's neat, 1949 from Illinois. That's in decent shape. The old plates are just cooler because they're embossed compared to the new ones that are all flat. Um, yeah, I think most states, everything is flat now. Some older Nebraska stuff, like I remember this one from growing up, that's from 1990. Uh, and that's, I've got a matching set of that one. As like I said, I've got a few matching sets in here. I'll just put them down. Uh, another old one from 90. 1987. Yeah, I don't know if that was this, the regular plate at the time. It seems more official to me. Minnesota. Yeah, I don't think any of these are all that great. Just some some really beat up ones. That could probably get cleaned up a little bit, but commercial truck, commercial truck. That's a pair. I think that might actually be off of my truck. Some farm plates. Older Nebraska stuff. 2011. I guess it's not that old. Well, it's 10 years old. 12 years old. And nothing all of that great. Just a bunch of basic flat plates. 
Nothing fancy. But the bottom here has some better stuff. And we'll get into those. Try not to split a pair up on accident. Yeah, so most of these, I think everything I have down here is probably an embossed plate. Um, these aren't that old, but that's from 2005. I don't remember what year they went to the, the flat plates, but 2005, um, 1990 there, one. 1996, that's, I remember that plate a lot growing up. I don't know, there's, I feel like everybody's got that. I guess if you're into cars at all, there's those, like those few years that you always will recognize and kind of brings back more memories, I don't know. Yeah, all of these, none of them are very old right now, um, but all embossed stuff. There's a 16 ton farm plate from 1999. Oh, here's a couple of cool ones and I believe this is a pair, yeah. That was the pair I was trying not to slit up, so. 1956, South Dakota. And we've got both of them. So that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna run out of space. You know, I've never counted how many I have. Probably do that at some point. Have another stack. I know there's some pretty old ones when we're getting into these. Uh, this one's cool. 1964 is the last sticker on this. The beef state. Um, yeah, that's neat. Now you could. There, Nebraska's got a bunch of different like custom plates you can get. I don't have. I guess my other bike does have a vanity plate on it. Crusty, some more crusties. This one's cool. 1954, Nebraska. Um, that one's kind of dinged up. Some of these I flattened out and washed off. Some of these I did not wash off. Um, we've got some more Nebraska. Fairly recent stuff in here. There's a 1972 Nebraska. There's two 19 county plates there. That's a commercial one. What's the ton on there? Nine ton truck, 1972. Look at this. 1936, Nebraska. There's a cool one. Yeah. Let's see, where were we at? I had to change the battery. Um, I think we were right here. So yeah, another pretty dirty one. There we go, 1989, I think that says 591, but, oh, it must be like a centennial plate. So 91 from South Dakota, some more Nebraska farm plates. That's a pair. Don't split those up. Yeah, I should probably count these sometime. Got a couple other weird collections hiding out. What is this? 1933. Oh, that's missing part of the part of this plate's missing. I believe this plate was quite a bit longer. You can see there's a dash here, uh, so it's missing the county number. Somebody must have cut that off or something. But 1933, Nebraska, broken plate. Another beef state plate. These are cool. I like the color of it. I don't know. 1964. Another South Dakota. Is that a, I don't know if that was a match to the other one. Here's another old Nebraska one. 1952. And here's an old Iowa one. 1966. And I don't know, you think that's like a government plate? Usually, although maybe that's the county and the number, probably. But solid red. I don't know. I really wish they would go back to the embossed plates. I think they were so much, so much cooler. Nebraska Centennial. Uh, here's a 
pair of city government plates, the pair I was talking about, that's pretty cool. If you're an undercover van, you need an undercover van, I got you. Uh, and another beef state plate. But there's still more in here. Quite a bit more. And there's a stack in here that's like tightly zip tied together. There's some more old ones. 1966. Three ton from plate 72, tag is 75. Does this have a tag on it? Uh, 68 for the tag on that one. It's kind of cool when you know it was, you know, how, how long it was used for anyways. Black 1969 Nebraska plate. Some farm plate. Lancaster County. And there's a pair. I've got a pair right there. That's from 1987. There's a sticker on those. There's a cool one. 1939 Nebraska. Crusty. Minnesota. Eh? And there's another Stanton County. I know, <laughs> like two of the counties. <laughs> 1955 farm plate. And another Centennial Nebraska plate from Madison County. Still more in there though. The last, there's a chunk, and then these are zip tied together but there's looks to be some older ones in there there's a couple long ones in here so there's some old ones in here this one uh yeah this is 1966 like i don't know the the paint on here i don't know because i think they used enamel but it's this is like perfect patina perfect patina one day i'll have a shot big enough that i can hang all these plates on the wall um and the ones I acquired along the way. Here we go, here's an old one. 1924 Nebraska, um, three county. This one's pretty beat up, but. Another old one here, 90, 1933. That's pretty new, well, 1987. Couple of Minnesota plates. Oh no, Minnesota here. And we've got one from Wyoming. I think I know who this one came from. That one's pretty cool. And then I think this must be a pair, yeah. This might be one of the oldest ones I have. So, Penna, I think that's Pennsylvania. And 1918, and I've got two of them. Now the bummer part is, you can see on these plates, right here, you can see both plates have that, and there's some holes in it. Back in the day, it used to have like metal year tags. I don't think any of them that I have still have tags on them any of the really old stuff, but you would get, instead of getting a sticker like you have on this plate, you would get like a metal tag that you had to pin in there or do something with. But I think this might be the oldest ones that I have, maybe. But yeah, 1918 and I have both of them. That's, I don't know, that's awesome. Even if it isn't Nebraska, it'd be cool if it was Nebraska. Um, they're pretty beat up. You can tell they were outside. Like, I can't really even tell what the original color was. Uh, drop the Wyoming one. Uh, it almost looks like there's some writing in there. And then it kind of looks like there was something right in here, too. Like, you see that little box right there? I think there was something there. The other plate's in much worse condition. But, yeah, those are cool. 1918. That's a little bit, a little while ago, guys. Uh, and then these were cool here. Magnet. And the best part, I've got a pair of them. So, if I had a car from 96, I don't, like I said, I don't know what the year cutoff is. 
uh, I think it's 20 years, 25 years, maybe something like that, and you can run old plates. So that's cool. Get yourself a 96 Ford Taurus, put you some vintage plates on it. <laughs> Let me pick up that Wyoming one. And we'll get into this last stack here. I don't know why these are zip tied together, but I mean, that's, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything super old in here. We'll pop this apart. And take a look at these. There's quite a few in the stack, actually. All right. Oh, they're heavy. Uh, we'll just kind of try to go through these fairly quick. We'll stop if there's any good ones. Um, so there's a pair there from 1990. Another pair there from 1993. Commercial truck. There's a pair of those. Those are from 1987. Might have a, quite a few pairs. Maybe that's why I had these zip tied together. They were all pairs or something. But I have some random pairs in there. I don't know. I should organize the collection, I suppose. Uh, but that's a pair right there. Is that a pair too? Yep. We've got a pair of those. That's 1999. Yeah, maybe that was the reason these were all zip tied together. Yep, there's a pair there. 1993, another pair, 96, 2005, I must have got all these from the same person, I, I don't, I don't remember where these came from, I think they might have belonged to Jess's grandpa? They might have belonged to my wife's grandpa. I think that might be where they came from. Out of his garage. I think that's it. I think that's where these came from. Okay, so that was the last of the pair. Right there, yeah. So we've got some randoms here. Uh, bicentennial plate. Nothing fancy about that. Another bicentennial plate. 1976 commercial truck, three ton, three ton tag, and then these are some newer ones. Commercial truck, oh, there's a pair. And one more pair. There's a pair there. It's always cool when you can get a pair. Obviously, they're cooler the older they get. I don't know. I still, like, I don't go looking for them as much anymore because I've got a lot and I don't have any more room to hang any of them up. In fact, like I'm planning to do shelves and stuff back here, so a lot of these are gonna come down. What was that? Was there a fly or something behind me? Did I fling something? Dirt? I don't know, something fell down over there. Uh, but yeah, I've got a few plates. I should probably zip tie these back together, but we'll just set all this stuff back down in here. Um, yeah, quite a few. And quite a few cool ones. And I do believe that that's the oldest one that I have. Uh, and it's a pair of doubles. So, a pair of doubles. So, it's a set. Whatever you want to say. Some really cool stuff. And I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of history in them. Um, yeah, I, I, I need to be better off the ones that I keep that I should probably like write on the back of them like I did with that one motorcycle plate from my wife's bike. Um, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool to have. And uh, it's easy to collect because you can find them everywhere. I mean, every, if you want to start buying old stuff, every antique shop has old plates. Uh, at least everyone that I've been into, I suppose I can sit down and keep doing this. Um, but <laughs> there's a lot of people I know that they just have plates in the garage, just hanging on the wall. And they don't want them, you know. And that's how I've gotten a lot of plates. 
they've just been given to me because they were taking up space and people didn't need them, and they can take up my space. Uh, but yeah, a lot of history, and then you've got your your ones that you know people give you that are like vanity plates. Um, I, I feel like I missed a couple on the wall here. In fact, I know I missed that one. I'll shut these back on top, and I'll show you the last couple on the wall that I think I missed. I feel like I missed this one, True Evo. That's another one that came from my buddy Topher. That's his Husker SS plate there. Um, and that was off of his red Evo 10. I had a white Evo 10. We both had Evos at the same time. We were Evo homies. Um, and then that one back there, I don't think I, I mentioned. That's now her mother-in-law. Yeah, I believe. That's how that worked. Uh, so yeah, just history. So yeah, guys, um, really random collection of, of license plates. Uh, I don't have them organized any, any uh, specific way. And kind of the real reason that I thought, well, hey, maybe there actually would be an interest of people seeing this video is I just found a Facebook group of local license plate collectors and there's like swap meets every week or something just a, a few miles north of me so that's that might be something that i'll go check out at some point it would be see to cool to see what other people have and uh by some of the pictures that people have posted on there like they're they're working their hardest to get like one from every county uh specific years and all that stuff and i don't know people swap them in and out all the time um yeah just a cool collection it's easy to do guys, you don't need a bunch of money to start collecting license plates. If you want to put them up on the wall like me, like I said, I'd love to have a spot sometime that I can put them up, all of them, and uh, that would be really cool to have. But for now, I just put up what I can when I move uh, shelves and stuff over here. I may have to move some plates around, like I can put some stuff above the garage door if I wanted to. I could put stuff back there, I don't know, maybe up there, although I think I'm going to put shelves up there. So. Yeah, I do have some other random collections here. I'll give you a sneak peek on another one. I don't think this one's really worth talking about because I don't know anything about it. But, down here, on this dirty shelf, in those frames, are, let's see if I can pull it out of here. At least part of it. I'm making a mess. What did I drop? Something fell down back there. There's an old pizza pan. Get yourself a pizza. There you go. Vintage barbed wire. And there's four frames of that. I may have dumpster dived for those, but I wasn't going to let them get thrown away. They were coming out of a restaurant that I was helping remodel at one point. They put them in a dumpster, and as soon as I saw that, I went in there and got them, but they... I put them in the back of my truck and they have sat on that shelf ever since. I told myself I was going to see what was in there because none of the writing is legible but uh, and reframe them, but I've just never done anything with them. So they're just going to sit on a shelf. But that's cool because that also tells a lot of history. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds of barbed wire. Um, I think there's like, I have like 98 or 100 strands there and they're all 16 inches in length or something, which is like a collector's length. Yeah, I don't know much about barbed wire other than it's kind of cool. It's a collection of uh, of history, of old stuff, just like these license plates. And I guess if you do your research, they can tell a story. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was something uh, really different, uh, but I am a little bit of a car guy and, and I collect junk. So anyways... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. Like I said, I am heading out on a kayaking trip, so I need to get the bottom one loaded on the truck and get all my fishing stuff. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I can catch a muskie on this trip. Uh, we'll see what happens. I've never caught a muskie before, but there is a good chance of catching one where I'm going. And we're gonna be camping for, let's see, two or three nights. We'll be camping for two or three nights, and I'll have I'll be up there with somebody else. So anyways, guys, I guess. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.